welcome to the session on inside recording inside recording is a new feature which is implemented in qtp or uft12 which can also be called as image based identification like it uses ui properties of an image to identify an object it's a stunning and excellent feature of your uft like QTP supports almost all the languages, almost all the objects I mean to say, but still some objects are such critical that some cases your tool may not identify them. If that is the case, we can go ahead with this type of mechanism and we can execute our test. Basically this inside recording is used to identify non-identified objects or unsupportive objects using their images that is what the main purpose of this inside recording so in a simpler words i can say that as qtp looks at an image it captures the image and whenever we run it it looks for the same same image on the end application and it will try to perform the activity on it when we have a duplicate properties when the properties are not properly planned in that cases yes we can use this image based identification process so let's go ahead and let's see how to perform these things so here i am going to take an example of calculator where the same uh, example what was taken by the hp team in their support form so here i am going to take the calculator application and after that even we will work with other things also but as if I'm in general I am taking the calculator application here and I am going to click on record and see here let me move on to the image based identification inside recording the last option just click on inside recording now you are in an inside recording mode just try to perform the activity i am just clicking on phi multiplies 2 equals 2 let me stop this just have a look on the screen window calculator inside object phi 2 equals 2 right so it has captured the image of it and whenever we run it according to the image it will try to identify the object and it will try to perform the activity this is what the speciality of your inside recording so let me run this it uses that images by 2 It's saying that there are same object with the properties. No worries. Just click on this. It will take you to the editor where we can customize uh, the inside recording thing. So literally take you to the object repository. Here we go. You can see the edit change test object image. Just click on the test object and uh, the select one again we have an option to select it so let me select this and save it now let's run it let's check Yeah, phi into so actually there was phi already. It has clicked on phi into two, and 
it has been successfully done so one thing what we need to understand is even we can edit this even this images can be edited i mean to say just click on the image what you want to edit it will take you to the object repository so here test object image to your top right corner you can just click on that see here all the images what we have here so it will capture the screenshot and you can select the best image from this so earlier the image what it has selected it was not best so that is the reason it has not executed it so after that i have selected the best image from the list and moreover see here can you see a pointer actually this pointer here the one what i am moving so this pointer will help us to make the click operation perfect so i can select it it in the center so that it clicks at that point can you see the plus symbol exactly the click happens there so that is the reason even this is also important just select the place where you want to perform the click control specify the location to click in the control that is what the thing is just click on save so here we can make the changes to your image see so if you want you can zoom it up i will show you that in a high zoom see so it clicks on like so let's say that it has been to a right corner something like this then it may not click it properly right so let me take into the center so that it clicks perfectly so this is what inside recording is and we have an option to actually just have a look on the screen here it's saying i uh, images right just move on to the inside option here which is in your uh, tools just move on to the inside see here display mouse operations show test objects image in step this is has been checked if i uncheck this and even you check and check the pixels also i am just unchecking this and just i am clicking on okay see here so it has been taken up some script in spite of showing up the images okay so that's your option go to tools options here we have uh, gui testing in that mode inside here we have lot of options go ahead and try with the options and even here maximum number of snapshot to be taken before selecting an image 3 and after selecting an image 3 if you want to increase increase it if you want to reduce even you can reduce that so if you use this option if you check that box then it will display the images as simple as that this is what image based identification in your uft not only this even for the application too so let me perform the image based identification for this flights just click on record move on to inside recording perform the activity guys user name john hp okay and literally you can stop the test just here just click on the image here so where you want to click it you can select the position here or here this one so where you want to click just see you on the okay button we need to click it right see here the way the pointer is so here just have a look on this let me zoom in zoom in zoom in zoom in here we go here the pointer is and moreover the okay is not perfectly 100% identified right so that there are chances that it may click on other object so just 
try to perfectly give the image to it so like this also we can customize it much better so that it identifies the image properly here we go so now properly i have given the okay image and here this pointer is very important so i have taken that pointer onto the okay now it perfectly clicks on the okay button now as simple as that see here the color if i select this option then it will not perform properly but this option it will select that properly like this we can much more customize it but this is what inside recording is a very very important and the latest feature of your uft unified functional tool so by this we end our four types of recording modes so every recording mode has its importance basically no recording mode is used in the organization yes i'm true we'll be writing the script rather than recording it so why to write the script that i will be explaining you as we move into the subject but here we need to concentrate on writing the script like before to that we need to talk about a concept called learning process but okay so now we'll close this video here in the next session we are moving to the next session in the next session we are going to see about learning process in uft so bye for now Thank you.